makeup on. I look like crap. My hair's cute though. But uh, yeah, I said I was gonna vlog my trip here and um, my travel companion uh, kind of bailed on me uh, and abandoned me. So I wasn't able to vlog on the way over here, but I am currently sitting at the hotel that I'm staying in, trying really hard not to get people in the video. So it's less editing. Um, but yeah, I am currently, I just checked into my hotel. I'm waiting for them to get somebody to move because they're in a place where I can't pull through and go to parking. Um, but I will check back in with y'all when I get uh, all settled into the hotel room. I'm in my hotel room. Um, try not to be too loud so that people don't think I'm crazy. Uh, again, no makeup. My hair looks kind of cute still. I'll have to fix it again before tomorrow. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm already in my PJs. Don't judge me. I drove three hours in Spanx and did not think it through. So, um, no judgments. No judgments. Alright, so let's look at the bathroom real quick. So here to bathroom, apparently I cannot change to the forward facing camera, so there's going to be a lot of jump cuts, just so you're aware. Alright, so bathroom, there's the shirt I'm wearing tomorrow, um, it's a bunch of stationery that I got. Obviously, I'm going to be using this one to write Phil's letter on, obviously. Um, but I have no idea which one I'm going to use for Dan's. This is an option. This is an option. Let's see what else are my options. This is an option. I don't know, guys. I'll figure it out at some point. I will have to. Most likely it's going to be this one, though. Most likely. Too colorful. But, you know, I'm a colorful person. All right, so here's the bed. The advantage of not having a travel companion being able to use the bed to put your luggage on. Uh, also that has all my, like my PlayStation and DVDs and stuff because I'm spending the whole night in the hotel room. I'm not going anywhere. And then that's my clothes and then that's my purse. Anyway, so that's about it uh, as far as the hotel room tour goes. Sorry that I'm looking like up um, but I have a tendency to look at the screen rather than look directly at the camera whenever I'm doing stuff like this. But anyways, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I just ordered some food and it should be here in about 45 minutes, they said. So I'm ready to eat and relax and try to not, you know, freak out before tomorrow. I will check in with y'all in the morning. Bye. So I went with this one for Dan. Let's get this paper here. These envelopes are such a reverse of what you would expect <laughs> for them. But hey, it works because cactuses. Red panda. I know I said I would check in in the morning, but I need y'all to hear how crazy it is outside with the construction stuff. They had a water main break like earlier today. And so I'm not allowed to use the water here yet, so I can't take my bath. And I can't brush my teeth. And I can't wash my face. But I really need to wash my face because otherwise it's skin's not going to be agreeable in the morning. I didn't wear makeup at all today to kind of give it a chance to breathe and make sure that I wasn't like breaking out under all my makeup tomorrow. And of course, whenever I start recording, the noise is not going to happen anymore. Of course it's not. But trust me when I say it was loud. I think I'm going to play some Overwatch. I've watched like five of, five six episodes of the Muppets <laughs> since I got here. I love the Muppet show so much. So good. Anyways. Yeah. Um, either I will check back later or I will check back in the morning. Hello! Good morning! Sorry that I did not actually vlog at the hotel this morning, but um, things are crazy. Um, I am 
ended up uh, waking up like five minutes later than I had planned. Only five minutes. And uh, was looking through my stuff. I was getting ready to like fix my hair and stuff because I wasn't going to bother with breakfast. Which really I should have, I, I ended up bothering anyway. I had a muffin and orange juice, so chill. Don't, don't, don't worry about me. Um, but basically I uh, realized that I forgot a hair bow, which is important for when I curl my hair because I got to do it in layers. And so I forgot a hair bow, so I had to go downstairs and get a rubber band from them. And uh, then I went back up and I was like, I really need to take my medication because I didn't take it last night. I forgot. Last night was just ugh, hectic. Like at midnight, they still were not done fixing that water main. And so I finally just went to bed. But anyways, so I was in a bit of a rush getting ready this morning. And I was like five minutes late checking out. I was so worried, but they said it was okay, so we're good. Um, so yeah, now I am at Atlanta Mall. I almost got hit by a bus. Man, that, <laughs> that's one thing that I failed to talk about. It's like one of the main things. Anyways, I was from the hotel to the mall. I was on my way, and this bus, I don't know what they were thinking. They were making like a right turn, and I was like right here. And they were like right here and so she went to make a turn and could not make it uh, in one lane and uh, totally almost slammed into me and I saw my life flash before my eyes I was like oh my god uh, and also people are very aggressive drivers here so my anxiety is through the roof I'm probably gonna take another anxiety pill whenever I get inside and can get something to drink but anyways, that's uh, been my adventure so far. Um, turns out booking a hotel that was less than a couple miles away from the theater didn't do any good because of the fact that I had to check out at 11 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, it is currently 12.49 p.m. I'm about three or so hours away from meeting Dan and Phil and not gonna lie, my, I am shaken. My nerves are through the roof. I am very, very nervous, but, um, anyways, uh, if I see anything interesting in the mall, then maybe I'll vlog a little in there, but I'm still not used to vlogging in public, because people look at me like I'm weird, <laughs> which I am, but oh well. Uh, anyways, that is gonna be it for right now. I will check in with you guys later. Bye. It took me about five minutes to figure out which direction I was going. Not even kidding. But here we go. I see my clairs. Also, sorry if I seem quiet, but I still feel weird talking to a camera in public. <laughs> Apologies. Let's get a bunch of cute stuff on my clairs. And I'm about to go get something to eat. I'm trying really, really hard to. Uh, get something that I'm not going to get all over myself, so I'll probably end up getting a smoothie. I will show off my haul from the icing whenever I get back in the car. Alright, so I made it back to the car. Um, I decided that I won't do a haul show until I get home. Maybe it'll be a separate video if you guys want to see that. Um, just, you know, leave a comment and let me know if you want to see it. Um, so now, I'm done far too early, and uh, I gotta wait until 3 to leave here because I really don't have to be at the theater until 4, and right now it is 1.45, so yeah. So I'm gonna, you know, chill in the car until then, so I guess I'll see you guys in, um, in a couple hours. I'm gonna check in right before I line up, and then maybe get some footage of the line. We'll see.
dark in this car, in the parking garage, but I didn't want to film out there, and I didn't want to film while I was on the road, because obviously that's very dangerous. Um, but yeah, so I just got done uh, seeing the show, and it was awesome. Uh, as I said in a tweet, it was amazing, and they were both on fire, pun totally intended. Um, it was, it was just a really amazing experience, and I don't, I hope that y'all understand that I don't want to share, like, details about meeting them and the meet and greet. I feel like, one, I'm kind of pushing it on, like, using interactive introverts and using, like, their names, um, in, in my video, because I don't want people to think that I'm trying to gain followers and gain views from using their name. That's not, that's not something I want to do. Um, so, yeah. Um, it was awesome. And I'm about to drive home. It is 1042, so I gotta go. I'll probably check back in with y'all tomorrow. Maybe. If not, it'll be an outro video right now. Bye. So that was my experience in Atlanta and at the Interactive Introverts show. Uh, it was just, it was a fabulous experience and I cannot gush enough about the show itself. They did a fantastic job on it. They should be very proud of themselves. I know I'm proud of them and I don't even know them personally. Um, but yes, they it, it was just a really, really, really good show. And uh, apparently they recorded it in uh, Los Angeles. So hopefully we'll get a DVD or be able to stream it somewhere, you know? Um, but anyways, it was, it was just, just fabulous, fabulous show. And uh, as I said in the clip before, I'm not going to be sharing every single detail of the meet and greet experience, um, but I will say that it was a uh, it was a really 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 good time, and uh, it went really well, and uh, I was very happy with how things turned out. So uh, that's that's all I'm going to say about that. I feel like maybe that's enough. I don't know. I hope it's enough. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that, it, it was just a great time. Uh, I thought maybe I would, uh, not enjoy it as much because I was there by myself, but I ended up meeting a couple of friends in line, so, you know, it was good. <laughs> it was a fun time. I am not gonna sit here and ramble on and on because honestly I could. I could ramble on and on about how good the show was and how much I would have loved to have seen it again and all that good stuff, but... I am not going to do that because I don't want this video to be an hour long. <laughs> so we're going to end it here. Uh, it was a fantastic experience. Uh, yeah, can't say it enough. But that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing with your life? Subscribe to me. We have so much fun. That's going to be it from me. And as always, remember, Lexi loves you. Bye.